the ability to present your story, confidently speak in front of the public, and be poised under pressure are all things a Miss World must be able to accomplish. These skills are all put to the test right here at the Mangrove Tree Resort World in Sanya Bay for the Miss World Head to Head Challenge. Please welcome Group 7. Bahamas. Hello. Korea. Hello. Zimbabwe. Hello. Chile. Hi, hi. Botswana. Hello. And Japan. Hello. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. What are you most looking forward to in today's Head to Head Challenge? I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to present myself as a strong candidate for the Miss World title and looking forward to people getting a sense of who I am and having an opportunity to vote for me, to advance me to the top uh, 30. Japan, did you want to add? Yes, like I'm really excited because I can know the other representatives more in this head-to-head -head challenge and also I can tell more about my stories in the people in front of the cameras. Yes. That's great. exactly it. It's about sharing your stories with the world. So let's begin. The challenge consists of two parts. First, you're going to share your video presentations and then we're going to have a follow-up question. And after that, in part two, it's the final question. So let's begin. Bahamas, here's your video presentation. The Bahamas is a land of breathtaking landscapes, incredible crystal clear waters, warm-hearted people, and an infectious cultural rhythm we call our very own. And I am proud to be the embodiment of such an amazing country. I am a multifaceted person, possessing a multitude of talents that I have excelled at, including cooking, baking, writing, voiceovers, drawing, painting, makeup artistry, and public speaking. My parents are both entrepreneurs and are also my biggest inspiration. They have always encouraged me to do something that I am passionate about and to stand on my own two feet, which propelled me to become the owner of two businesses. My father is a culinary Olympic champion who introduced me to the professional kitchen at a very young age. And I am at my happiest when preparing a special dish as it brings back many memories of family time in the kitchen. I am passionate about contributing to the health of children around the world. And it is this purpose which propelled my Eat Wise, Exercise, Stay Alive project. Encouraging children throughout my country to make healthy choices. I am Bernique Gibson, and I am from the place where God lives. I can honestly say that it's truly better in the Bahamas. Bahamas, tell us more about Eat Wise, Exercise, Stay Alive. Well, last year I was overweight, and I began to feel extremely uncomfortable in my own skin. And I knew that I needed to make a lifestyle change, which started the birth of Eat Wise, Exercise, Stay Alive. And in the Bahamas, we are number one um, in Latin America and the Caribbean on the obesity chart and with non-communicable diseases. And I decided that I wanted to bring this new mindset and this new lifestyle change that I adopted to my country. And as I said before you today, vying for the Miss World title, I am hoping to have an opportunity to use this platform to bring Eat Wise, Exercise, Stay Alive to the national level and transform the lives of people everywhere. Great, and Bahamas, what is the best tip you would have for someone who just wants to get healthy, be healthy? The best tip I would say is to find something that motivates you. And for me, what motivated me was my decision to enter the pageant. And that's my advice to anyone wishing to lose weight. It's not as hard as you think. I did it. I lost 40 pounds. And I believe that if I can do it, anyone can as well. Great. Thank you so much, Bahamas. No problem. Let's meet our second contestant, and she's from Korea. <laughs> I'm Acho, Miss World Korea 2018. Living in one of the most connected countries in the world, I have always believed in the power of technology. That's why I majored in computer science, to gain a deeper understanding of technology and how we can be used to change the world. Now, my job as an engineer is to secure the network but my true passion is to secure a better life with me. 
I want to use technology to empower children to realize their dreams beyond the limitations and to help build a fair and just world. My family is my biggest source of motivation and also my biggest path on this journey for Miss World. I'm grateful for this amazing opportunity and cannot wait to make new friends from all over the world. See you there. Korea, how will you use technology to empower children? 네, 저는 기술이 인종 성별 나이와 상관없이 모든 이들에게 꿈을 실어 줄수 있는 도구로 작용할 수 있다고 생각합니다. 왜냐하면 기술은 한 나라에 국한된 것이 아니라 전 세계 어디서나 사용을 할수 있기 때문입니다. 예를 들어서 어, 컴퓨터 언어를 배운다고 치면 한 나라뿐만 아니라 전 세계 어디서든 사용을 할수 있기 때문에 전 세계 어디서든 꿈을 펼칠 수 있는 기회를 만들 수가 있습니다. 그래서 저는 이러한 기술을 아이들한테 가르치고 싶고 그러한 기회를 주고 싶어서 아이들이 꿈을 이룰 수 있게 전 세계에서 어디서든 어느 상황에서든 꿈을 잃지 않을 수 있게 아름다운 세상으로 만들고 싶습니다. 네, 감사합니다. Thank you, Korea. Yeah. Next, we introduce the world to Zimbabwe. Greetings to you all. My name is Hajira Belinda Potts, and I am proudly representing the beautiful House of Stone, Zimbabwe. It is home to one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the mighty Victoria Falls. Coming from a family that loves pets, I realized the value of friendship in animals, henceforth my decision to study veterinary sciences, focusing on animal health, animal welfare, and productivity. My biggest inspiration are my parents, for they have been my pillar of strength, and they have made me realize how love for others and the nation at large is at the core of our being. In my spare time, I enjoy swimming, traveling, playing sports, listening to music, and immersing myself in charity work. My name, Hajira, means a lover of nature and sunshine. Being named as such, I wish to bring a ray of sunshine and hope into the lives of many, especially of children in marginalized communities. I am proud and excited to be representing my beautiful nation, Zimbabwe, at the grand stage of Miss World 2018. Zimbabwe, why did you choose to be a vet? Thank you very much for the question. I chose to be a vet because it's an organic affection. I grew up on a farm full of animals. You can imagine domestic animals, cows, sheep, goats, chickens, roadrunners actually, not the, not the, the modern breed. Um, however, Usually when, when we're by the farm, every school holiday, my grandmother would actually face a problem with going to the veterinary because it was so expensive. So every time a cow would die, I would comfort her so much and I'll be like, don't worry, I'm gonna grow up and I'll be a veterinary doctor for you, Granny. So yes, I love animals. I want to save animals. Thank you. That's, that's great. And do you have any pets yourself? Um, I have one German Shepherd. Um, we have fights every day at home to get more pets. <laughs> Yes. Okay, well, well, good luck with that. Thank you, Zimbabwe. Thank you. We've met our first three contestants, and it's now time for contestant number four, Chile. My name is Anayur Musabal Garay, and I can proudly say I am Chilean. I was born in Santiago, capital of Chile. I am 20 years old, student of engineering in foreign trade. My parents, Isabel and Rafael, raised me with very important, solid and strong moral values such as respect, tolerance, love for others and the good appreciation for art and music. I am a Christian woman by free choice and my desire is to be able to help others to be happy by promoting respect towards human rights. It has been a long journey to this point just to fulfill my dream of winning the Blue Torch. It would be wonderful to wear the crown that means the change to help so many unfortunate people and to put my heart at their service. I believe that God will guide me all the way if I get the honor of being crowned the next Miss World. Chile. Tell us more about why you chose to focus your attention on helping immigrants in your country. Decidí comenzar con los inmigrantes debido a que lo veo como una realidad mucho más cercana. Puedo ver como muchas chicas llegan a Chile sin dominar el idioma, teniendo que dejar atrás a sus familiares, a sus propios hijos, 
y quise ver alguna forma de ayudarlos para que puedan salir de su situación entregándoles las herramientas que ellos necesitan y también contando con un equipo humano que de verdad los va a ayudar cuando ellos lo necesiten. Thank you, Chile. Next, it's time for the world to meet Botswana. Hello, world. I am a 24-year-old lady representing a nation best known for its tourism, diamonds and humility. A nation so humble that Prince Harry decided to bring his newlywed wife to explore our wonders. From the beautiful Okavango Delta that stretches north of my home village, Maung, to the ever so sparkly diamond that shines on Megan's finger. A lot of people who meet me say I'm the most humble beauty queen they've ever met. Bajana coming here means a lot to us because I also want to be a model actually. Um, she said a lot of things. She wanted to be a doctor but it meant giving up that to become something even greater. How can I not be humble when I grew up in such a paradise? Join me as I tell Bajana's story at the 68th Miss World competition in China. I am Mutepi Elias. See you in Sanya. Botswana, what is it like delivering speeches to young people at schools? Well, to me, frankly, speaking to students really is a fulfilling honor because I remember being young and not knowing where my purpose was, where my future was going, and I met a couple of people who helped me discover who I was. And in that manner, I know some girl out there, some little boy is also looking at me and saying, I need her help to also figure out where I'm going, which is why I live my life according to a basic, simple but yet compelling mantra that says, become the person that you needed as a younger you. I put my heart and soul into everything that I do, which is why after being crowned Miss Botswana 2018, I quit my job to do this full term. So I, I, I dedicate my life to these children. I do school visits, but I also do have little meetings where I meet them and we talk about where they wanna, what they want to do and the hard work it's going to take. Thank you, Botswana, for your work. What tips, what's something you tell these young people who are lost or looking for, for a purpose? I always tell them the same thing, which is what I've learned traveling my journey. It is to invest in your dreams. It doesn't matter how little you have or how much you have, but if you put in the work, eventually you'll reap what you have sown. Well, I think we can all agree with that. So thank you, Botswana. Thank you. Our final contestant from Group 7 comes from Japan. Hello, my name is Kanako Date, Miss for Japan 2018. I'm currently a student at Keio University. While majoring in political science, I've studied six different languages. In high school, I was fortunate to be chosen as one of the top 30 students in the nation that will study economics at Tsinghua University in China. During my free time, I practice Japanese traditional dance and enjoy Japanese archery. I also perform stages as a soprano opera singer. <laughs> I have a proud family line with the famous regional ruler of Japan during the samurai period, Masamune Date, as my ancestor. I wish to leave my mark in history like he did in a field of social contribution. I'm very excited to share this wonderful experience in Sanya with all the other beautiful representatives. See you there! Japan, seven languages. Why do you love learning languages so much? Firstly, I'd like to introduce my favorite quote from Nelson Mandela. It says, if you talk to the man in the language he understands, that goes to his head. And if you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. And actually, my ancestor, Masamu Nidate, was a regional ruler of the northern eastern part of Japan about 150 years ago. And I was uh, I was grown up being told you have to have a selfless mind. So from high school, since I noticed the, the poverty problems in the world, I've been working on the social contribution prop, uh, activities. And uh, that was the moment I, I saw and I knew the quotes. And I love to get close to the person's heart in every kinds of activities I'll do in the future. Uh, that's why I'm studying that kind of languages. 
So your ancestors come from Japan, mine come from Italy. So can you give us a little bit of Italian, maybe a greeting Italian. or something? Uh, ciao. Uh, sono, sono Kanako di Tokyo. Ah, uh, sono di Tokyo. Uh, io studio l'italiano da due anni all'università. Io canto l'italiano. Ah, uh, canto l'opera italiano. Mi piace da uh, gelato. <laughs> more di, more di cucina, cucina, one more language, cibole. your other favorite one to speak? C'est une belle opportunité pour moi d'être ici à Sanya Ocean. Je suis très excitée. Amazing. She, she did not know I was going to ask her to do that, so that's very, very impressive Japan. <laughs> Thank you so much. And that concludes the video presentation, so well done. Now the world knows you, and now it's time for the part that might be a little bit more difficult, the final question. But first, I'll tell everyone how to vote. There are four ways to vote. You can like the contestants' official Miss World Facebook pages, like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, or in China on Model Power Live. You've all been given the question before the show, but I'll read the question again, and you'll each have 30 seconds to answer. We'll go in reverse order. That means we're starting with Japan. Japan, if you had the power, how would you change the world? I would change the world to be like the Amazon's world in Greek mythology, in which uh, women can lead the world. I think uh, Miss World can be a good test case for this. Like we celebrate and support each other, and we are happy and very active, but not martial. Like if the world could be like we are in a contest, the world could be a more happier place. I mean, I'm not saying that be active, I mean aggressive like the Amazons do, because we have a Miss World now for the world peace, right? So that's my, that's my answer. Thank you, Japan. Botswana, if you had the power, how would you change the world? If I was to change the world, I would change people's hearts and actually remove the judgment that we have towards each other and replace it with more love, compassion and understanding. Because on a daily basis we cut each other with words without even realizing it, leading to so many broken souls than beautiful people. So if we had an understanding of people's choices, that would make the world more beautiful. And I am grateful to understand that it starts with the self and I have the power to change myself, which is why every morning I tell myself, do not judge the next person because you don't know what struggles or what battle they're fighting that day. Thank you, Botswana. Chile, if you had the power, how would you change the world? Yo creo que para cambiar el mundo, primero necesitamos cambiarnos a nosotros mismos. Eh, para mí, el amor y el respeto son base fundamental para que todos podamos convivir y tenemos que aprender a, a conocernos, a Eh, a ver a través del otro y a entender que ante todo somos personas que tenemos diferentes realidades, contextos sociales, pero que eh, independiente de nuestra cultura, eh, conocernos es una gran maravilla. Todos tenemos algo muy lindo que aportar y necesitamos llegar más allá en otros. Thank you, Chile. Zimbabwe, if you had the power, how would you change the world? Thank you for the question. If I had the power, I would change corruption, oppression and inequality. I would encourage everyone to treat each other with love, with respect, with dignity, not to underestimate and discriminate each other against gender, racism, origin and beliefs and religion as well. And I would also change um, how people feel about women. You know, women uh, should be celebrated as a symbol of beauty and not as sex workers or slave workers or punching bags for people. Thank you. Thank you, Zimbabwe. Korea, if you had the power, how would you change the world? If I had the power, I would change the world. Thank you, Korea. Bahamas. If you had the power, how would you change the world? 
I'm reminded of a quote of Dr. Miles Monroe, who was a Bahamian that would have inspired the lives of many people around the world, that says, the greatest tragedy in life is not death, but it's living a life without purpose. And I honestly believe that we each have the power to change the world in our own little ways. I feel as though if we utilize the tools that we have, we can do just that. However, if we take a look at the graveyard and the jails, we would see that a lot of individuals that are there have not had the opportunity to bring forth their purpose into the world. So if I can honestly change something about the world, it would be allowing people to realize the impact that their purpose and their contribution to the world has. I feel as though by helping people, I'm helping them to help me change the world. Thank you, Bahamas. No problem. I'm sure you all have a bit of these powers inside you, so best of luck on your journeys to, to change the world. Thank you. And that concludes the hard parts of the Head to Head Challenge, so congratulations. Mm -hmm. You all did very well. Ladies, it's been amazing spending time with you and getting to know you all a little bit more. Likewise. And it is time for voting, so let's explain to the viewers one more time how voting works. You can like the contestants on their official Miss World Facebook pages. You can like their content on Mobstar. Vote for them on the Miss World website or in China on Model Power Live. We'll see you for the next episode of the Head to Head Challenge here from the Mangrove Tree Resort World in Sanya Bay, China.